Hello students, today's tutorial will be about the animal face. So we will change your face or a face to an animal face and I'll show you how to do that. First of all, you take the picture that you have and then we duplicate it and we're gonna call this face snake okay and my layer is duplicated now we want to add the texture of a snake to this man's face so what we do is we go and get a face texture and we drag it on top put it on so it fits a little bit, don't need to use shift for this one, it's not a big transition then we say overlay and that's the kind of effect that I want for this. Remember, your effect may differ on the one that you want to use for your skin tone or whatever animal you have. But we are using ev overlay for this tutorial. Now we need to take out the area around him. So I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to create a mask like I did there. Remember the block with the circle inside? Now we paint with black okay set up my opacity and as we paint with black remove we remove all the place the, the pieces we don't want part of our image I'm just gonna do it very roughly first and then I'll go in with the white again make my brush a bit smaller and add the parts that I want very easily can make it smaller just take out the parts that are overlapping okay seems good enough remember we're doing this quickly yeah you should give a little more attention than I'm giving now now let's take out the eyes a little bit we also need to add some snake eyes later and we are also going to remove the lips because we don't want scales on those lips We have a texture, doesn't look really appealing yet, we'll get there. But first of all, let's quickly change his eyes to snake eyes. So what we're going to do is, okay, we're going to select the face, make sure your face is selected. I'm going to make a selection on the inside of the eye. that I'm using my normal polygonal tool and I'm going to select the color of the eye on the inside the black that specific black and then I'm going to use a brush to brush on the inside to make the snake eye but there's something missing if I paint like this you will see it's very hard edged we won't we don't want that at all so what we do is, okay, just step back one more. We go to select, modify, and feather. We want to feather out the edge. Let's make it two for now and see if that's going to work. I'm going to use my paintbrush. Remember to feather before you start painting. And there we have snake eyes. The feathering just feathers out the sides so it looks more natural doesn't get that hard edged feeling okay we go again modify feather I'm going to use that specific black because it may change then I'm painting in the eye again 
there we go very quick remember that we are there are many different ways of doing this I'm showing you only one and that's the easiest way also now the next step is to make it look natural now I'm going to choose my select my snake yellow skin texture again and then I'm going to use the dodge and burn to add an effect to this remember to rasterize your layer before we go on okay rasterize otherwise you will not see any changes to your file so we rasterize it and then we're gonna start burning up the scales and this will create some nice textures I'm gonna keep it okay let's keep it there for now I'm gonna do it basically all over the face quickly to start off with make the eyes look deeper make your brush smaller you can even darken up there and remember you can use the dodge tool to dodge the areas that you want lighter to create white parts that need to stand out If I put my lay back on normal, you will see that I burnt a lot of my images. Texture, the texture is completely changed. Sorry, let's put it back on overlay. I'm going to make a new layer, and this layer I'm also going to apply an overlay effect to that layer. I'm going to change my brush to any color. Let's use a nice blue like this and when I paint let's make the paintbrush the opacity take it down a little always start with the lower opacity and then paint as you go along layer by layer and don't be too don't go too fast if you apply too much color at one time won't look natural at all the default if you see your colors are white and blue always remember you can always just press D on your keyboard and it will go back to your preset of pure black and pure white so let's try black let's see what that does and you can see what it does it darkens up the skin for you so as you can see the effect of that layer applies a lot to the bottom layers and it's quite nice to use let's now use a little yellow from the skin that we can use to apply to his lips because his lips doesn't doesn't seem quite natural at all so what we do is we start coloring in that layer layer by layer even do the same for the eyes if you want to do that you can use another tone of yellow very dark yellow also and as you can see that's the effect very basic and simple but at least we got the effect through now that's bothering me a little bit so what we can do is we can always just take away that part of his head let's take away hide these layers quickly and what you can do is a nice and easy way to do this just use your lasso tool quickly go around his head like that and we go to edit edit no, sorry you need to make sure you select your layer first you go to edit full and content away a while and what you should have is a bold headed snake man that's the end of part one the next part will be the tiger face 
so I'm going to delete these layers duplicate my layer tiger face let's select my tiger set the opacity lower so I can see the bottom picture we need to see the bottom picture because we want to align the eyes to align the, eye, the aligning of the eyes are, that's the most important part of this picture because from the eyes we will move everything around and make it fit but aligning the eyes will make it look mo much more natural and have a better feeling to your animal face let's Try and align it as good as possible. Okay, I'm going to start with that. I'll change it later if it's necessary. I'm going to say OK, apply. So my face looks quite al aligned quite nicely there. I'll bring back the opacity. And what we are going to do now, we are going to liquefy the image of the tiger. Okay. Remember to rasterize your layer. Go to filter, liquify. Now, what we want, we want to see the face at the bottom of this picture. These are very basic step, uh, steps that we can use to mesh this animal. So we want the advanced mode, and in the advanced mode, we want to show back the show the backdrop. So what we do is, we select tiger face, that's the layer of the man's face. Increase the size of your brush. And start moving around tiger's face until it fits the face of the man. We want to align the nose, as you can see there, so we just move that up. And you can even align the eyes if you feel they aren't aligned well. Okay, let's move out that spot a little bit. And we say OK. And a very looking funny tiger face. Now we set our layer to overlay. And as you can see, the layers already applied that color of the tiger to my face of the man. Now we're just going to take out the sides with our mask. We mask at the sides. Bring back my opacity. Remember, I'm doing it quite roughly, so you can do it neater when you do the project yourself. And as you can see, we have the face coming through. Now, you can always go and apply more features to it. Let's take away the eyes, if you want the eyes of the man to come through a little bit. We can always set it lighter and cut it away so we can start seeing his eyes coming through. If you don't like that, just duplicate the layer of your tiger and set it to normal. And now what we can do is we can take away more features of the tiger on our mask layer.
So we can add facial features of the tiger to the man. And you can take out and extend the picture as far as possible for yourself. Okay, thank you for this and good luck with your new projects.